Welcome back guys to JS Set. Guys, this is the day two of React JS today challenge of Disney Plus clone. Okay, guys. Yesterday in the previous video we will just completed our login screen. Okay. And now today's challenge is there to complete the UI build of Disney Plus home. Okay. And also the detail page of Disney Plus clone. Okay, now so let's start our today's challenge. Now let's go back to VS Code Editor. Okay, I just moving all those files which we worked before. Okay, also this one, this one there. In the components, we have a navbar.js. Okay, navbar.js, not comma. Beautiful. Now, create a their file of plate. Okay, I am displaying a message. This is Napper. Okay, and in the app.js, I am calling their Napper. Go back to there. Oh, beautiful. We have a message. This is Napper. Okay, now. In the nav bar, first we have our nav component. Okay. Just after that, we have our nav friend. Okay. After this nav friend, I am going to set a menu view links component. Okay. And there we have our user auth. Okay which is that user auth and these are the nav menu okay and this is our nav friend okay now save changes it's give me an error style component is not defined okay we already know that we need just to find the style components cause nav style dot div and it's just we are nav okay see here this nav brand also menu links and user auth and all these we have there are div this is also a div and this is also a div okay beautiful now in the first component nav brand i am going to add a image feature add a source okay add alternative tag which is very important this is our Disney slash logo okay and in the source I have a logo okay just import logo from dot dot slash components mgs and there I have a logo dot SVG. Okay, it should be rendered. Beautiful. It's crazy. Yes. Now, in the nav links, I am going to add our links. First, we have a li. Okay. In this li, I am gonna set a nav link. This nav link will work if we have a browser router. Or React Router DOM. Okay. Now, add a class name in there, which is nav link. Okay. And don't forget to add a two attribute, which is just like work as href. Okay. Guys, in the React, it did not understand either what is anchor tag. Okay, it's just like work as an anchor tag. Okay, crazy. Now, save the changes. Say that nav link is not defined. Go there, nav link is not defined. Okay. Now, we need to just install a dependency there. Yon add react router DOM. Okay. Look there. Just add yon add react router dom 
and enter it's going to be added a package in there okay if I go to the package.json after a movement later it's added okay beautiful it is fetching the package Boom. I'm just importing there the nav link from react water dome import nav link okay from react water dome okay and this AI functionality is also powered by the extension which you already know that which is ES7 Redux okay and in there we have a prefix for our nav link okay if I show you there yes we have a prefix nav link okay just use this prefix and it's going to be added okay beautiful now CLS here play screen again start our server beyond start or I am just now there npm start go with yawn or npm it's that on you okay and development server is running okay guys it's give me error you cannot use the nav link outside the router that's crazy okay you <laughs> this is the stacks or were explorer less beautiful now go to the index.js and there just import the browser router okay import the browser router from react router dom we need just call their browser router inside that browser router add a root dependency which is oh sorry add a root component which is app okay and it's going to be rendered beautiful we have sh we should have there our nav link okay we did not define there home beautiful look at there guys beautiful we have our nav link okay now go back and if I show you the actual nav part, we have our image and we have our nav link. Okay, please. Now, I am going to add there an image, add a source of image and alternative tag. Okay, and there I have a span tag in which I am just saying home. Okay, and there I am adding a home icon. Okay, and this home icon is from slash component slash images and there I have a home icon home icon dot svg save we call there boom we, we have our home icon okay guys I just added the nav links and all the icons view okay cool there. oh my goodness it is really crazy but don't worry we just style them okay and I just in decreasing the size of my VS code it's just like a side by side okay beautiful there first we have our nav brand which is actual adev inside this we have our image low okay here we have a width 101 pixel add her height which is auto okay actually guys auto height it should be by default which is not giving me an overflow object position of that div will be center okay and to save run overflow in the small devices I am adding a width to this image 100% a height auto and object fit will be filled anyways guys it's a client call okay now now in the menu links I have a li and there we have a nav link okay and we have a span tag and also image tag okay now in our menu links first we have this li then we have our nav link inside there we have our image then we have our span tag okay crazy now in the image i am going to set a width of 1.3 rem a height of 1.3 rem and object fit I am adding their content look at their cost look beautiful okay now 
in the span tag I am going to add a first of all font size one R A M a font weight 300 letter spacing 1 pixel a line height which is 1.08 ok now add a color there which is white ok save and just remove the text separation in there actually guys in the style components we are working on the source ok beautiful now so just in the menu links add a flex box ok add a flex box display flex align items center ok justify content this time will be flex start ok and flex direction row flex wrap which is row and wrap ok and add a flex ring but smart devices it should be none ok zero now to this add i just remove the list style none crazy beautiful ok we need to add a padding little bit there add a padding which is 0 0.5 ram ok beautiful now in the main component which is nav or which is nav whole container ok now tear add a flex box also tear line item center crazy justified content will be space between ok flex direction row ok and now there and it should be in the center it should be in center and also this home is just like as it is icon I am adding due to this home icon which is inline styling ok go to the home icon there add a inline styling and the syntax in the react of inline styling which is there ok now there just decrease the width of our image which is 0 0.8 rem also height which is 0 0.8 rem it should be in the single course look at guys beautiful now we need to just add a flex box in the nav link display flex the line item center when i say that you must be focused at there ok save the changes look at there guys awesome ok now add a margin top which is 5 pixel to this point tag awesome ok now i clear that we need this nav manually sorry this menu links in the center i am going to add there a margin y auto it's going to pull up the menu links and the logo ok and also I need a margin left there 3 or E M beautiful beautiful now we need to just add this holding effects ok this holding effects and in the spawn tag in the spawn tag I am using there an operator and it should be before this one ok now this is the syntax of to add a procedural element in the style components first we need to add a position relative in the span tag and also this position relative in the nav links ok now to this procedural element which is before add a position absolute add a content to be there and this time I am showing a message high our nav link ok just nav link look at here guys beautiful add a top position 100% ok goodness beautiful now to this one left 0 right 0 
it is goes to be in center okay and now add a height to be there 2 pixel add a width 100 percent add a pack of color which is hash f9 f9 add f9 okay this is awesome just remove this content crazy now but we need when i hover them it should be rendered okay this time it is ticket okay we need to just add a hovering effect on the this nav link okay this nav link and it should it is entered in there and just after that and hover and hover okay i am adding a span on before i need the hover on there okay and this time i am going to set with zero percent in the actual procedural element and on this holding procedural element i am setting the weight 100 percent when i cause there be useful guys look at there look at there okay now we need to add a transition transition all and it goes to be 0 0.7 seconds and cubic okay cubic user add a function you can add according to your need your requirement according to your taste according whatever anyways guys i am adding there this time way it's give me a very very much pretty effects beautiful beautiful oh my goodness what is that okay now there in the nav i am going to add a minimum height which is 7 v edge okay it should be 9 v edge yes 9 v edge okay and now there come to the user art in the user art we should have okay in the user art i am going to add an image add a image source admin this time i am adding a dummy data for you but in the upcoming video which is just after created in that video i am adding their sorry this is the admin okay slash disney crazy i am adding their user auth and this admin we need to define here import the admin player from dot dot slash component slash empty slash admin dot svg sorry admin dot jpg it is there beautiful look at guys how i am looking that how it's cool that okay now to this user auth I am going to set a width 50 pixels. I am going to set a height 50 pixels. Okay. Object with position center. Object position center. Okay. And now to this image, we need to add a width 100%, which is should be for actual div. Okay. Add a height auto. And in there, add object fit position contain it should be covered cover yes it should be covered because we are running the about the radius which is 100 pixels oh good what is that we useful guys look at there oh my goodness okay now to be there to be honest i need uh, some padding yes i need uh, some padding go to the this there goes there add a padding 0 and 3 or e m beautiful look at guys we just completed our nav bar okay and you can also add there a padding front top if your mind is active to add it should be 0 0.5 but i know it okay beautiful look at there now if I go back, I have a click cable pop-up menu. Okay, we need just develop this. Go there at the top. Okay, there. I am adding there pop-up menu. Okay. 
there we have our this first home link okay and also add their sign out button okay sign out we need to add their uh, icon which is shut down okay crazy save the changes oh we need to define their this pop-up menu pop up menu style dot div uh, oh my goodness yes it defined but there okay yes it there okay now go to the there in the menu links copy this code from there of just li paste this code we don't need there this hovering effect okay and also we don't need there this specific development save the changes go back there and we have our actual links so guys to style this one just go back to there okay in the pop-up menu i am adding there a background color a border radius and a box shadow it's very simple so i am just copy paste okay just side by side as it is beautiful it looks very crazy this is beautiful okay now there add a padding in the proper menu 0 0.5 rem and 1 rem okay beautiful now just add a flex box in there display flex align item this time flex start justify content flex start flex direction column save okay i don't i know it's no changes but in the smart devices it's going to be beautiful okay also set up this flex box in the list style just line item center okay so the flex start we need to add a border bottom in there okay just border bottom looks it's very much crazy but there i am stretching out the weight of this 200 percent it's going to be maximum be beautiful okay now there we need to just specify the position of our pop-up menu first in the user auth add a position relative okay relative now in the pop-up menu I am going to add a absolute position. Look, it's going to be matter. It's in there. Okay. But we need to this in there. So in the okay. Just clear. Okay. So anyways, in there at top position, first of all, seven V H. Okay. Under white position this time will be zero beautiful but the right position is 3.5 or a m okay look at guys it's so beautiful we just style as it is we just need to add our clickable functionality in there so we are using there a use state hook guys there use state hooks is just a state management tool in the react or you can say that it's a state management system okay we are using just in the site arrow function or also functional components okay so here i am defining the use state hook this is the syntax of use state hooks when i save that it's give me two errors initial state is not defined so initial save this time will be false okay false yes terminate and we need to just import this is from react use state simple okay now refresh there okay yes refresh and it's back boom okay and i am opening a new local host yes beautiful okay guys 
What is meant by initial state is false? What is that? Okay, what is the logic? If I understood you, go back to there. This is initial state and this is false. That's initial state is false. Okay, but whenever user is pressed in the image, it's pulling up a proper menu. So that is the active state. Okay, this is active state. Crazy? Maybe you understood why happened. This is active state. And this time active state is true. We need to just to create a muted function. When user press in the image, it's going to be open. Otherwise, it's false. Simple. Okay, clear the annotation. Come out there. In there, I am adding there a muted function cost if pop up menu open just pop up open okay and it's going to be a fat arrow function which is inline i am setting there a set states it's be a toggle okay and the initial state is also toggle okay i am calling the state in there terminate this one okay i am saying that if the user will press to this one it's going to be open so sets toggle it's going to be toggling and i define this toggle in there and it's going to be true okay this give me true and it's be a active state okay this is false so this is not active okay you just remember that to these states okay we need to just fire this function in the user auth on click event just add on click event Whenever user click in the user auth, it's be open, otherwise it's not open. Okay, now we are using their we need to show this proper menu. So I am writing in the proper menu active state simple and it's we are toggle. Okay copy this active state I am saying that if proper menu is going to be open then display will flex otherwise display none in the proper menu div in the proper menu div we have this a flex box ok I am using there a syntax of ECMAScript which is literals I am saying that if an event will fired ok you need to call again event dot active state if it's be open then flags otherwise none when i say that it's you must be focused the proper menu is going to be hidden oh boom guys what is that that's really crazy guys okay when I click that, it's open, otherwise it's boom. That's be useful, be useful. Okay. So that is the logic behind the use state hooks and this proper menu. Okay. So now guys, we are going to define the routing of our website. Go to app.js. Okay, there first we have a router growth as page. Just import it from React Water DOM. Okay. I explain you later, but first I am going to find this. First use we we are using the router. Okay. In this router, I am going to define a switch case. Okay, this switch case allows me to reject the parts of my website in the root component. I am going to define the root of my website. Okay. And this is 
going to be take up to three parameters first parameter is a plot in which we are defining the URL of my page okay and the other parameter is a component in which we are going to find the component of our website which we are going to rather okay similarly I am copy that three times okay first define the parameter component which is called login okay and it takes the path just like slash it's home path okay the other part is slash home okay and there we are going to define the home component okay and it's now giving me order home is not defined okay don't worry we are going to define the home first create a file home.cs add a follow plate there it says welcome to Disney home okay beautiful now save we need to import the home from home.js okay import home from dot slash okay component slash home dot js simple it's rendered okay beautiful now call there and it is my slash URL which is this rendering the login component okay if I write there home enter okay it's not defining virtual now we need to add uh, one more parameter there exact exact is just work like as a if statement if this is match to slash URL then display the login component otherwise show a error okay beautiful oh my goodness what is that we have a message welcome to Disney plus home beautiful beautiful okay now if I takes to you the website of we have the dome okay search there we have the dome this is the actual link of react router dome official okay now first go to the router router is work like as a history pushing component simple just remember that it's a history pushing component either a browser history either a memory history either a static history or whatsoever okay in the router we use the root root is just used to define the parts of our components first it takes parameters slash slash is just work like as a URL okay in the path I am using the URL of my website okay and again the one more is their component okay and the last important parameter of the root is called exact exact is just work like as a if statement if this path exists then render this component otherwise display other okay similarly we use a, a switch case you already know that what is a switch case switch case it's just also work like as a if else statement if the home component is matched to the home file then rather otherwise display the 404 error beautiful we just learned about what is the router dom ok now the question is that how to render this navbar and this footer ok beautiful now I am going to defining the navbar at the top of switch component ok now just render the component navbar ok save the changes and oh let's go guys let's go beautiful we have our beautiful navbar awesome guys awesome what is that ok now just define the footer of my website and it's going to be rendered in the slash component which is login or slash home okay similarly we are going to define the this buns clickable okay to make these buns clickable first we have our this logo we need to add a nav link inside the nav brand okay add a nav link there define the image there okay first 
add a path to this nav link which is slash ok save the changes go back to there refresh this one if I am going to the home ok it's, it is the home of our website if I click there look guys it's giving me the thump because it's a nav link it's a bun if I click there it is must be pushed back to the slash ok slash url which is a login component now click there boom guys we define our routing we define the beautiful buns ok now we need to make that this bun is clickable how we can do that similarly go to the home there instead of this hash I am going to define the slash home simple guys it's really really simple ok click the home it should be rendered the home page oh beautiful what is that we have a message welcome to Disney home <laughs> god that's the beauty of react we are working on every single component either it's a link either it's a routing component either what is that whatsoever ok so that's really cool that's really cool now we need to define a one more component sorry one more root there which is called detail add a one more file in the component called detail.js add a boilerplate so just display a message detail of Disney plus movies ok beautiful now in the app.js we need to define the path of detail path of detail page ok I need to just define the path of my detail page ok and this path will work if we have a id of every a single movie just simple ok it says me detail is not defined ok don't worry I am going to find the detail page and it's importer beautiful just import at the top of browser router yes beautiful go there just write there detail it's running a uh, message this is detail but we need to add also a id beautiful it's given a detail of disney plus movies ok go back to the home this is my home page and this is my login page be beautiful ok we need to define a one more thing is there whenever user is going to be forget the url of your website it's give me the error 404 just like s but i don't need the error 404 i need if user forget the urls ok and it's just like right as it is ok I need to redirect to my actual login page ok now I am just defining a one more component which is redirect this redirect is going to be redirect my page to my home page or oh, sorry just slash which is our actual login component I just add a path to redirect if I go back there it's ok cannot read the property path name undefined beautiful instead of this path I am using 2 2 is just work like as a href ok Pim. beautiful beautiful if I write there home it's going to be under the home component if I write there detail slash id ok it's going to be defined the detail of my movies ok if I write there any other virals it's going to be move back to the login page looks it's redirects login page ok our home our disney then it works properly so we need to just work on this home component ok beautiful anyways go back to our work ok this is the banner of our home page 
okay so it's a react select slider go to the google just write react select we need to install dependencies of react select slider okay so this is the npm package manager of react select you look the documentation is really simple okay beautiful now first add this yarn react select okay you can also go with npm install react select but i am going with yarn and okay so split a new terminal in there add this command also i am going to add one more command select carousel okay so again focus on these commands yarn add react select and select carousel okay Till it is installing, I am going to add a one more folder in a component called home. In this folder, add a one more file banner.js. Okay. Add a boilerplate in there. Okay, beautiful. This is a banner of home. Okay, it's very simple. Now we need to just render this banner in the home, but first add a main. Okay. It's just like as a container. You can also say that it's a container. Okay. Now in this container, render the banner component. Okay. You are now there. It's a style component. So we need to define the style components. Okay. So container style dot as a main. Okay. Beautiful save the changes i am deleting the terminal which was splitted okay go back to there in the home and must be we have a message okay it's not working why it's not working open a new local host yes it's not guys you know the url is already changed but it is not redirecting to home okay go back okay look we just render this banner from the login okay beautiful we need to import this banner from this home folder okay not this login folder simple save the changes go back and boom we have a message banner of the home okay beautiful in the container first add a position relative add a height in tier 100 v edge and maybe we need to write this height in the calculation function okay so okay calculation function and it's 250 pixel beautiful and a padding 3.5 vw plus 5 pixel also we need to add a calculation function again okay at least i understood you something we need this type of some paddings so therefore i am adding in the calculation function okay beautiful now display will be blog overflow hidden okay beautiful now go back to the home and we have this banner okay you must perceive that the padding is added crazy okay now add a background just like as it is which is in there okay so add a background the well we need to define background okay again i am going to adding inline css center cover now repeat okay and import this background import this background from dot dot slash components empties and there we have background.png beautiful and uh, boom the background is applied beautiful okay now we need to just add a select carousel in tier banner okay if i move back to documentation look at there we have very simple code documentation you can also copy this snippets of code and apply the banner but we need to customize just like disney plus manner home okay so go back to there first i am copying this statement import the slider from react select 
okay now in there i am just saying that slider okay carousel carousel images simple okay now we need to define this carousel images as a style component but we are going to customize the slider according to our requirements so i am going to scoping the element just like as it is slider okay beautiful now we are going to style our slider okay crazy in there we have first a wrap okay and right in the lab add a div and a image tag okay beautiful now I just copy this seven times because we have in the top seven slides which are important from my images folder okay I am adding a selector in their slide one this is slide two okay this is slide three slide four slide five slide six and also this is slide seven okay beautiful save that changes oh, we got the error beautiful cause wrap is not defined style is uh dev okay beautiful go back in the home boom we have our images okay beautiful go to react select npm package manager in there in the documentation documentation says that you must be need to import this css files or either this cdn link in your html okay i just copying this css files from there and in the banner.js at the top of banner.js import this css files also we need to add these settings in there okay so actually i want those to infinite to slides move infinitely it's not paused okay speed 500 slide to show one slide to scroll one and also i want auto play two boom beautiful okay after saving it's giving error setting is assigned but never rules yes in there i am using a spread operator because this is an array of objects okay this is array of objects first dot is called value second dot is called index and the last dot is my array and then array of name after saving that boom guys go back in there we have our slider successfully that's really good guys that's really good okay now there we okay what is that there's a padding at the top yes i find spread that okay maybe it is mod padding yes because there is no margin in there so it's a padding if i just write there padding top zero yes it's a padding it's a padding okay so cool go to home.js yes in there we need left and right padding not top and bottom okay save that changes go back boom padding is just remote padding beautiful okay in the banner dot js we need to style our carousel mgs okay i am commenting down there dots and left right button because we need to customize these things okay and also we need to customize overflow of our slick list okay go back inspect in there 
first we have dots first we need to style these dots click there okay and okay first we have a ul in the ul ally in this ally we have a bun in this one we have a before state in which our dot okay in which our dot so go back here what we are gonna see there ul ally bun okay now in this one we have a state which is before okay this says there if in this bun the before state is existed then add a font size 11 pixel or add a color in there which is RTV okay 150 158 and 171 save that changes go back boom. you feel just like the color is changed okay color is changed beautiful now but in my actual site I want to this dot active dot should have color white okay inspect there and you looked in active dot we have a class click active okay you well inside this URL we have a light and this ally is add a clause which is click active okay and this is before a bun inside this bun we have a before state before state in this before state I want color Y okay it's important see that changes go back there boom guys look at there when the dot is active the color of dot is white Here. now we are going to style this left and right buns okay if it goes to my actual project when I hover to the image we have this buns okay so inspect there in okay in the slider we have a bun okay we can directly scope this okay so you can also use these classes which is slick arrow slick next slick per okay now first in there I am saying that if there is any bun existed in this slider in this slider okay I want to change the opacity at initial position 0 Z index fitting 100 okay and also I want to change some width which is 5VW and height 100% okay save that changes but when an hover state when on hover state I want this opacity 1 okay Z index on that hovering state 2000 transition will be on opacity okay transition on opacity which will be 0 0.2 seconds and this is a is function okay and transition duration zero seconds go back and in there when I hover on the image boom guys look at there that's really cool we have our bun that's beautiful okay now we need to add some positions in their buns okay in there we have one more class slick okay slick previous to this slick previous I am going to add a left position which is minus 75 pixel 
okay or also to this select next button I am going to add a right position which is minus 75 pixel similarly okay so look at there we have and the end of my page this must be beautiful on public okay now just add overflow in there if I inspect again in, okay inspect in there you look in the slider we have a select list which is full container of that slider so I am pushing the images for that pushing images we need to add in the slick list overflow initial and it's important because it is overriding on the hidden go back and boom. we have our slider beautifully guys look at there how it's cool that beautiful okay we need to just style this MGs okay this hovering effects in there so in the wrap first position relative in this wrap we have a div in this div I am going to add a border radius which is 4 pixels add a padding to there which is 4 pixels okay add a display which is plug beautiful okay add a pass C to this div 1 the index to this tip which will be 2000 okay add this box shadow in there okay and I want cursor position default on the images save that changes okay in this div we have a image width of that image will be 100% height 100% object fit will be covered object position center now maybe it's object position it should be in the div because it's a content okay cool in there add a border radius 4 pixel cool save that changes go back boom it is styled beautifully but when I hover on the image there's beautiful border okay now in the div if user hover on that div I want padding 0 okay I want padding sorry 1 pixel yes 1 pixel border okay it should be border yes border 4 pixels solid white full and also transition duration will be 300 ms save that changes go back oh my goodness what is that guys we just completed our valid component look at there guys so awesome let's go let's go to build an other beautiful next component so guys our next component is is brand component which brand sporting to this Disney Plus website okay so actually this is our div okay in this div we have a very single very single divs okay we are going to be use a grid system in there you can also use a flexbox system but the grid system is so beautiful guys in the CSS that's really cool I love that guys I love that okay just after that similarly we have a rose component but this rose is a single slider every row have a slider so this slider components is just like as a banner it's so simple okay so first we are developing this brand component go back into the VS code in there in the home add a file brand.js rfce add a ball of player in there display a message brands for disney plus beautiful and let's go beautiful beautiful okay we need to just run this component in the home 
called js just after this banner in there i am going to calling the brand beautiful it is imported automatically brand from home dot brand dot js also banner dot js and this p and the image should be at the top yes it's okay boom beautiful go back let's go we have a message let's go guys let's go okay beautiful guys in the brand dot js first we have a div which is called container in this container we have a wrap in this okay similarly we have a wrap div in this wrap we have image tag and video tag okay guys in this video tag r2 plane must be true loop true plane line true and meter true it's very simple code so i just copy paste it. okay that's really good first i add videos and image source okay there look at there boom beautiful okay after adding all the source i save that so oh, we got added container and wrap is not defined okay i define the container on wrap okay import their style components beautiful go back oh we have mgs and videos okay beautiful now guys but if i realize to you something we are repeating the code again and again in there so it's a garbage code it's a very sick code okay it just looks like as a weakness of programmer weakness of developer okay in the banner.js well just repeat the code okay actually i repeat the course because i want to show you the difference is that you can also work in react as it is okay but you can also do work in react by a very beautiful or i say that very very cool method which is mapping a function mapping a api okay i have a folder in their api in this api i have a file local api dot js okay beautiful now i pulling out all these source of image and videos from the brand dot js i think that cons brand api because this is the api for brand dot js brand api okay this is a array okay there i am defining array of objects image source first we have image source okay it's assigns a value image one which is the selector of this okay beautiful also add a one more image so or uh, sorry add a video source video selector which is video brand time beautiful okay copy sometimes this is video 2 3 4 5 and 6 similarly there we have 6 4 3 2 okay we well, just completed our api our array of objects beautiful guys it's just worked as a api in our brand.js okay go to the brand.js enter in the container we are going to map this api so i just say that brand api brand api okay we need to import this api from the local api.js okay so export brand api guys look at there we are using their ecma 17 syntax okay 
beautiful how it's cool that i am exporting the brand api from there save the changes go to brand.js now why there brand api you look we have a suggestion brand api when i press enter it's going to important just like as a object open file okay that's cool it is a syntax of at my 17 18 okay beautiful i'm saying that if there is and brand api existed then map a function okay and this map function which will give me a value and index of my objects okay first of all i commenting down everything if i console log there brand api i show you something in the console okay and go to the console ignore these errors in the console console was clear okay we got errors uh, maybe this error due to this one yes okay we removed later we removed later okay i just console out this brand api refresh these ones boom guys look at there in the console we have this brand api the status of that api is 200 in the network tab look at there 200 which is okay that's really cool that's really cool okay so i'm just writing as there beautiful okay now again comment out this one remove this console log that from there okay this map function is a fat arrow function it's always returning something okay but everybody use their of uh, brackets and then return keywords so it's a very very basic methods in javascript the es at net says me you can use parentheses in that method okay beautiful that's really cool i am pulling out this all these data in there okay and i am mapping the value from here the value dot and when i press dot i got the image source similarly in the friend video when i just write there value dot image video source save the changes remove all that code which is carpet move all that code okay just very cool code very simple code go back in there we have a one error and some warnings ignore these warnings because this is the youtube those declaration of images and video okay we have a key pro for every lesser child element yes we have so just write there key in this key i have a index save changes remove all these declarations from there go back in there refresh and boom we have no error no warning no something and our data is displayed very cool look at there guys but due to overflow hidden it not displaying but when we define it shows beautiful okay you can also do that for the banner js for the banner js pull out all these images from there to clean this file okay i am commenting down there brand api okay again banner api okay so i am commenting large block commands beautiful 
instead of this I just saying that cell full okay here paste all these selectors okay very very fairly I just saying that banner API it's added okay now I am going to add there a source which is image source this image and uh, okay this image source is be a slide one slide one but you already use their image source you cannot use in there okay so you can just write their banner image just simple banner image or also source banner image source simple slide one similarly copy sometimes this is slide two three four five six beautiful and also we have slide seven that's crazy save the changes go to the banner.js also save the changes and we got a very very errors beautiful I love that errors okay in there I am mapping this API if banner API and if there is a banner API existed in this banner component then map my data map my values are index okay beautiful now I am copy this content in there remove all these content from there which giving me a very garbage content beautiful <laughs> look at there guys I just going to be kidding you okay in the value I am just mapping the value banner dot source okay and also in there we have a key of every index oh my goodness what import in the body of module dude oh, okay that's very beautiful <laughs> that's very good in the local API guys we imported first these mgs okay then we have again a function then we have again mgs okay so it's the error it says me you cannot import this function in there before importing okay so I cut out this API from there paste there okay beautiful save the changes look at there we have no errors everything is clean and successfully working look at there guys how is cool that working in react JS javascript library guys beautiful guys look at there the code is so clean and neat beautiful guys I love that we face the errors we solve the errors beautiful guys that's really cool okay now to style dash our brand component now guys maybe we first style this wrap okay then we styled our container yes okay in this step we have a image we have a video okay to this wrap div first set a position related add a padding top 56.25 percent okay add a border radius 10 pixel add a cursor default overflow of that div will be hidden okay add a book shadow this one also add a transition all 250 ms okay cubic bruiser 2.5 something and zero seconds that's crazy that's really cool okay now to this image width 100% height 100% object fit will be covered and to this div object fit should be okay object position not fit object position because 
in there we have images and the video okay object position center yes okay opacity of that image 1 z index will be 1500 okay and display clock that's crazy inset I am gonna set an inset position okay it's give me an offset zero pixel okay that's great copy all the code from there paste there remove this insert from there with 100% to this video object with cover I need a passive zero at the top level initial condition Z index zero display also block okay to this image and the video we need a what a radius 10 pixel okay that's great add a transition in there the transition will be uh, need to set on this opacity 500 ms is in out duration 0 seconds okay that's great beautiful now go back to there in there boom, we have something like this okay crazy I want if anybody is hovering this image okay we need to just add a grid in there so go to the container in this container we have a display grid we have a grid gap which will be 25 pixels gap 25 pixels okay grid template columns repeat 6 min max for small devices okay for maximum screens I am gonna set 0 1 as far save the changes go back there and we have this beautiful component but what is that it's giving me an overflow maybe we need to define position in there yes position should be added okay uh, go to the image position absolute top zero also add to their videos position upload top zero now save changes go back boom we have a very beautiful component guys we have very beautiful grid system okay now we need to just add some padding and some margin top first of all add a margin top to be there 31 pixel then add a padding 30 pixel 0 pixel and 26 pixel great that's great look at there boom guys beautiful beautiful but maybe we need to add a border yes okay there is a border in the cards there is a border in cards so in there add a border 4 pixel solid RGBA which will be Z, uh, 249 249 uh, 249 0 0.1 that's beautiful guys that's beautiful okay so now if anybody is hovered on there then the videos will be displayed just like as it is okay so and we need to add a hover state on this wrap and come out there okay if hover state existed in the wrap and if anybody is going to be hover okay then box shadow will be this guys just add this box shadow okay and our transform scale 1.05 okay border color will be RGBA 
this one and this time it's going to be 9 okay and on this hovering state I want the opacity of my videos 1 G index 200 32,000 and I also want something okay that's great guys 1 2 3 and boom beautiful look at there guys what is that what is the hell going on oh my goodness yeah let's go let's go we just completed our component yeah beautiful okay now after completed that component we are going to be develop this rows section that's beautiful guys that's really cool after developing a component again it's copy paste that's really good that's really good so go back in there first we have this original new to disney and trending hollywood something like that first i am creating a file with nulls.js rfce and movies of Disney. i am displaying a message for our excitement from let's go we need to just render in the originals okay come out there we have a message movies of Disney okay now guys first of all in there I have a section okay and this is a, a component not a SCM attack yes this is a component in there we have a carousel component just after that web component in this tab we have a fragment div also we have a nav link okay guys to this nav link i am adding a url locator this is true it's just like as href in the html okay crazy now in there we have a image source add a alternative image just like slide image okay beautiful now we got to adders image is not defined yes import Luca image from dot dot slash I am just adding dummy image and dummy data okay so copy and paste there thought png okay that's great yes okay so define this section in their cons section the style dot section okay there we have a casual there we have a wrap this casual is just like as a banner components okay so we are going to style this casual on slider okay that's good pretty Saving as slide is not defined go to the banner copy this from there okay go to the original paste in there and slider is defined now beautiful if I go there we have this image okay now add a title to this section which will be originals okay look at beautiful in this section add a padding which will be from top and bottom one r a m and zero from left and right in this h1 add a font size 1.7 r a m text transform uppercase font weight 300 it's important because we are writing on the universal add a text shadow 0 0.1 rem okay rgba which is white okay beautiful now 
add a margin to this h1 from top 2v h from right 0 by on 1v h from left to rem okay but it goes to add media screen maximum width of 991 pixel I want font size 1.1 RAM and also when it scrolls to 550 max on mobiles I want to this one ok beautiful look up there we have a beautiful title ok now to style this one we already styled our cursor and web in the banner component so I am just copy from there and paste into the originals ok simple beautiful but in this tab to this div I am going to set a height 15 v h and object fit fill ok now when it goes to at maximum width of 991 pixel I want to add width 100% object width cover and height auto crazy ok it says cursor is not defined yes it's a cursor not cursor image ok cursor yes it is defined Beautiful. now go back there we have something like this stuff ok now add a settings from banner.js ok go to originals in there paste these settings first of all dot will be false this time autoplay will false ok slide to show will be 5 in this carousel I am using again a strat operator to add these settings ok now maybe we no need to add some changes from there ok that's beautiful that's so crazy add uh, some padding 5 pixel in there and also opacity 1 z index 1500 it works when position will relative ok copy this paste in there it's at this time 2000 also remove this padding from there ok instead of this art I am using RGBE 249 249 249 0 0.8 ok transition duration 300 ms and maybe it's a transition all 500 ms cubic 2.5 and 0 seconds ok save and compile successfully go back what we have on maybe it's overflow inspect to this one and oh yeah it's overflow yes it's overflow go to the home.js in there first of all change this overflow to overflow x save that changes go back and boom we have our data ok now go to the originals and copy this and paste sometimes I am going to paste very times and it should be hard coded ok in the upcoming video we are going to map data from database ok in the day 3 ok ok but what is that we had this error that's not good that's not fit ok so in the home maybe when I just write the minimum height at calculation this one it should be done from at look at your guys we have our youthful slider oh my goodness what is that ok 
and to this section padding is very much okay just 0 0.5 rem yes it's done it's done okay now in the home we need to add more movies so it's be like trending dot js okay rfce it's trending movies it's also just like as a component original okay this is trending and a one more in there which is new to disney dot js okay again add a fighter function and new to disney okay create and we have three more there which will be originals new to disney trending hollywood disney and disney for kids popular disney okay just add a one more file hollywood dot js or fce and there this is the hollywood movies okay and one more disney for kids disney kid okay dot js guys i am adding a file name just like my own you can also add according to your mind okay so disney movies for kids i am just displaying some messages to be there just like as a excitement of you okay now in there we have a popular on disney okay add a one more popular dot js rfce and there we have popular on disney movies okay now in the home dot js just after original we have component new to disney then trending okay so just call their new to disney and again call the component trending okay again just after that i am calling the component hollywood on disney hollywood okay beautiful now there we have component disney for kids and popular disney kid and at the loss we have popular movies beautiful go back in app and we have all these movies okay actually all these components is just like as it is okay so it's a time to develop these components okay guys simple goes to original.js find the file original.js from there yes we wish at the original that this copy all this stuff from there okay and goes to your component which is new to disney okay paste in there we need to just add this file name okay which is new to disney okay also add a title new to disney okay beautiful add a export the file near to disney file say successfully boom we have component near to disney similarly after adding all the components we rendered all the data okay now go to the home and the trending i am again paste all the data oh sorry what is that okay just copy from there in the trending paste all the data just change the name file of name trending okay change the title which is trending okay also there beautiful boom guys how it's cool that we are working on every single component very very cool guys that's beautiful okay crazy now we have three more components similarly 
okay now guys after adding all the data in all the components if i show you boom we have all the components beautiful guys how it's cool that we just develop these components in our seconds okay in seconds beautiful okay now if i inspect that we need to just work for small devices okay first of all to this nav bar to this nav bar i want these media queries this menu links none okay go to navbar.js okay and in the menu links add this code okay add this media query display none from 991 maximum to 280 display none save that changes go back and boom it's hot when it goes to 991 max it's hot beautiful and we have their proper menu just like that okay beautiful okay now we also have media queries for this grid system and for that okay so guys go to the brand.cs file okay and i am adding some media queries it's so simple you can also do that by your own by yourself okay so i am not writing say beautiful just write these media queries from this device to this device i want these columns from this device to this device i want that okay beautiful that's crazy when i go so boom, we have our beautiful plants look at there that's so much pretty okay now as to make responsive these components which is these sliders okay to make responsive these components i am going to add some media queries okay go back to the home okay first of all in the original i am adding this media queries okay this media queries look at there actually guys it's a api of react select slider okay it is predefined responsive in the select slider i just added breakpoint from this device to this i want slide to show for from this device to this i want slide this okay so that's really simple code copy from there paste into other sections just like disney kids paste there okay in the popular i am going to add also this responsiveness okay and in the hollywood js also add this responsive breakpoints okay in the new disney go to the top and paste there beautiful in the trending also add these media points beautiful okay now we have one more file there which will be in trending also Hollywood, Disney, Popular, and Originals. That's good. Go back. When I go to refresh this one, hardly boom. When I go to 99 maximum, we have five slides. But at 991, we have four slides. Okay. And when I go to 768 maximum, we have three slides. Okay beautiful look at there guys look at there boom that's really good guys that's really good everything is fully responsive and functional of that component okay maybe we need to set a media queries for that banner component okay now let's move back to the banner.js the banner.js come out there at yes in the images i have these media queries okay beautiful look at there i have these media queries from this device to this device i want 50 vh height okay from this device and maximum smart device i want this beautiful and go there boom the mid refresh and yes media queries is applied 
beautiful look at their guys look at them okay that's so cool that's so cool it's fully responsive worked for every device guys look beautiful beautiful oh my goodness what is that let's go let's go guys for the detail page of disney plus website okay now when we move to detail slash id detail of disney movies yes go to the detail of our disney plus website detail.js go there beautiful and there i am displaying a message let's go okay beautiful we have a message let's go now guys if i goes back to my actual site in the detail page first we have this banner okay then we have a container okay and there we have a div which is my content div in which we have first title then h1 then p tag then our controls okay first add a background component inside there we have a container component then we have content component okay in this content component i have a one more div which is image title okay in there i am going to add the image title okay add alternative probe to their detail image title okay chris now here we have s2 then p tag okay go back to there i copy this s2 tag paste there okay this p tag okay and also this h1 tag copy and paste in there save the changes and we got these errors okay define all these components i just added there first of all we have background like the main component container div image title also a div content also a div in this main i have a background okay add a url to there and also this is going to be center cover and no repeat okay background position center background size cover background repeat no repeat i am using a line styles okay add a height to be there and okay it's be a minimum height which will be 95 vh okay from beautiful now add the url in there go back and i uh, inspecting down in there inspect and yes in the main i have this banner okay guys i am hard coded because in the tomorrow video we are going to fetch all the data from database okay now go back to our actual site boom we have this beautiful content okay now in the container add a width 95 percent part auto margin zero and auto okay in the title this is a div so maximum width 450 pixel and the width which will 100 percent okay now in there add a flex box display flex line item center justify content center flex direction column and flex web will be web okay beautiful also add a image tag because in the title we have image tag okay to this image with 100% height 
auto and object fit will contain okay that's pretty boom add a margin top to there will be margin top will be 19 vh okay okay what is that it's margin top to all that this maybe we need to add some display block and there then margin top will work properly okay so add overflow hidden okay and it's not work yet okay but don't worry we do that after defining the content okay after defining content we do that okay now to this content i am going to add a flex box in there okay copy this flex box there paste okay just add a minimum height which also 95 vh it's just like as it is okay you can also define flex box there but i better thinking is to add a one more contentive in there add a position relative okay now this time it's be gonna in center okay but we need at the start flex item will be start and boom beautiful look at there guys it's so cool okay it's so cool then now in the content we have h1 add a color which is white hash fff okay font size 1.2 rem okay font weight 500 it's important okay now well again in the p tag i am going to add a line height which is 1.4 okay font size will be 20 pixel and padding 1 r a m and 0 okay add a color which is y f9 f9 and f9 okay maybe we need to add some maximum weight to be there yes add a maximum weight 650 pixels okay and width 100% also height or save that changes boom guys look at there this one and this one is fully worked look at there oh my goodness what is that that's so crazy okay beautiful okay maybe the height of that width is too large instead of there but don't worry we managed later okay in the media queries we managed okay so we need to add some media queries for every devices in there okay first of all add media screen and minimum width of 991 pixel and add maximum width of 1200 pixel I want the minimum height of my that MS will be 72 VH okay beautiful now copy this media query paste it paste it and paste it okay sometimes this time this media query will work from 991 pixels to 550 pixel okay it will be 65 vh now this time this media query will work 550 maximum to 280 okay and this time the height of that will be 55 and object fit 
will be filled that's so good guys that's so good okay i just move this media query go back and okay first we need to add also media queries in the image title okay come down there i just copy this media query from there and in the image title i am going to add first width which will be 325 pixel okay 325 pixel now at the screen of 767 maximum to 5 okay mm, maybe we need to just write this media query for tablet mode which is 550 okay after this tablet mode we have a very small device till 375 so then media query will be 250 okay 250 and also add iphone se which is 280 pixel and maximum width from 375 the media query will be 150 pixels okay beautiful also add a media query in the content okay similar media queries just like as it is paste in the content and first of all the minimum height is this and also this yes boom guys it's so cool so go back there refresh maybe we need to add some media queries for this h1 and p tag yes guys add media queries for s2 and p tag okay go back in there i am adding the media queries guys in this s2 i added all the media queries okay you must be add these media queries it's just like as mm, font size okay or maximum weight for very small device okay and also in p tag which is very important okay beautiful save the changes go back and boom media queries is apply beautiful oh my goodness what is that but if i go there and if i inspect in that look at we have some linear creative background in this image okay so i am just copying from there okay go back in editor paste in there okay enter add this linear gradient code okay from top i want 0 0.4 from left i want this from bottom i want this and from left i want this save the changes go back and linear gradient is added beautiful boom that's really cool so guys just after that we are going to add these buns okay these buns from there so it's actually a one div in this div we have a one bun two buns three bun and a four okay in this div we have four buttons okay so first button is for playing trailer add to list and group watch okay so go back to our detail okay clear go back to our detail and in just after that we have button groups component in their component i have a play btn okay and it's be a btn yes play btn just after that i have a trailer btn okay similarly add to playlist btn okay and also group watch btn okay 
that's cool that's really cool just add this capital btn what is that yes in there also in there add a convention which is camel case okay beautiful so it says that btns is not defined don't worry we define there okay cause first we have button groups okay now style dot as a div okay so this is play button I am gonna style as a button okay guys it's is HTML tag you look I am just defined as a button okay so go to at the top now this trailer is also a button okay beautiful go to the top and this add to playlist is also a button okay similarly the last one group watch is also a button that's so pretty okay it is the working of style component if I inspect on there okay it's not displaying we need to write something in there and it should be displayed okay first in the first play btn I am going to add a image okay and also a span tag in this span tag I am writing play okay and this image will be a source okay play icon add alternative to their play icon okay beautiful this trailer also have a image add a source in there and it's also a trailer icon add a alternative which is the trail slash icon okay just add a span tag sorry span okay and it's a trailer yes trailer of movies now in the add to playlist button we have also two spans just two spans not images okay paste two times okay now group icon is also sorry group btn is also a image okay source and this is group icon okay we need to define all these images at the top first import this play icon from dot dot slash empties okay slash components empties slash go to the explorer of empties and find where is the bun okay we have this play icon bun which is black okay now paste the source of bun there similarly we have trail icon and this time the bun will be white play icon white okay just add this one in there and we have uh, add to playlist okay and group watch yes group watch bun okay now go there and search their group watch icon so this is the group icon okay paste there save the changes okay we got some errors yes that's png it's also a png dot png save boom 
image elements have alternative properties you look we have other image alter should have alternative prop okay guys i just forget it group slash i con now save and image elements must have alter okay not a lot just art go back boom. we have these ones okay if i inspect on tears and look at there first we have this div inside this div we have four buns guys look at it okay so style components is working just like as it is okay beautiful now go back to code this once okay in the first play btn bun i am going to add a display flags line items center sorry just center justify content center flex direction row okay and in there i have a image so the width of that image 100% height of that image 100% object fit contain okay now see the changes go back and look some changes boom the image is applied successfully okay cool now let's first style this one okay that looks so cool okay i am going to side by side this vs code in the top and bottom looks so cool okay your focus should be in this one okay add this one maybe i need to just yes add this one focus at there okay now play button first of all add a flex box because this play button in this one we have a image so we need to add a flex box okay display flex line item center boom save okay justify content will send look at guys so beautiful in there we have a image with 32 pixel high there will be auto object fit contain opacity 1 z index 1 500 save the changes boom so cool guys so cool okay now Add some styles to these buns. First of all, outline will be none. Add a border, one pixel, solid, RGB, A, and it's two for nine. Okay, three times, and one. Beautiful. Add also a background there, which also this. Okay, so cool. Add a font size 1.2 rem. Okay, border radius will be 0.345 rem. Save the changes. Boom. That's so cool, guys. It's so cool. The okay. In there we have a span tag to so this span. Okay, span. I am going to add a color white sorry black just remove this font size from there because it's in span tag now it but okay also add a font weight 300 so cool text transform uppercase this time i am going to try text transform uppercase okay line height which will be 108 letter spacing one pixel guys this sponge is designed so beautiful okay now just after border radius i am going to add some padding 0.5 rem or 1.5 rem okay beautiful guys look at their power by this design beautifully okay now uh, just add font weight 400 
this should be important cool that's so cool that's so good okay now our bun is designed successfully I am going to add some media credits in that bun okay guys I just add all these media credits to this bun you must be write these media credits for your responsiveness okay first remove this padding add this device and add this device okay beautiful so cool so cool maybe you right there also add a media query in the btn span tag okay just like as it is okay beautiful so cool okay so this one is also worked for every devices okay we need to just write media query for that image which i forgot it. okay copy this media query from there paste in there i want width of this to 25 pixel okay and this in there 19 pixel so this time it's 280 and this is 550 pixel save that changes boom now it's fully styled beautifully okay now the trailer burn is also just like as it is so what i gonna do there i say that this trailer burn i am scoping at display btn div okay display btn div so just import there play btn and should be focused in the trailer bun okay this this okay when i save the changes after scoping the play bun to trailer boom it's just style guys look at there it's just style okay, if i clear and show you again it just style that's so cool okay guys to this play button just add these styles i want color of the span black background of the gun will be this border will be black okay it's rgba one also it's rgba one okay opacity alpha one beautiful and also the background one crazy it's so cool look at there the cursor position will be default at the parent bun cursor default okay my vs code intelligence is not working i don't know what is this happening okay cool that's so cool yes look at there guys it's so cool it's so cool okay we just style our bun very beautifully now i am going to style that add to play btl list okay guys now to, to this add to playlist bun is so simple therefore i just added the code for my project first we have this height width and a flex box okay border radius border it's so simple guys this one is so simple add a media queries beautifully to this span tag i just added a uh, height and width some transform so cool guys okay to first span tag just add this height and width and transform okay and and to this child also add this one so beautiful when i save the changes it styles beautifully now to design this group wise one i just added this style okay in the group one one it's just like as play btn okay i just add width height and flex box okay some media queries and to this image just width and add also a height will auto okay so cool yes add in there 0 0.5 not 1 okay save that changes and it's so cool guys look at there okay now to this group one i am going to add a flex box to this 
group one which is there yes this group one i am going to add a flex box add a flex direction will be row okay so cool beautiful look at there guys beautiful now just add margin right to this play btn okay in there add a margin right okay and this margin right will be 22 pixel okay look at there it's applied and the one is so beautifully defined okay now guys our website is complete successfully our home page is designed very beautifully okay if i click there look at it's fully responsive for every devices okay now if i click there it's also fully responsive for every devices okay so guys in the tomorrow video we are going to define the backend for this website just like as sign in sign out functionalities okay and how you can fetch this all these disney movies from database how you can fetch the detail of movies from database of every single component okay in the tomorrow video till just relax and watch my previous videos if you have any query dm inbox me i will give you an email in the description thank you very much game over